Right, so we're down here once again. We've got, moving on. We've got another fantastic band. Huh? So I'm just I'm hugging up your... Uh, no, not, not at all. Right not at all. No, not at all. Look, see, look, right see now, we're there. Like, we're right there. Uh, not, right, a little bit then. A little bit. <laughs> you have got smooth skin. Have That's I? weird. That's weird. That's Coca, odd. Cocoa butter, man. Cocoa butter. <laughs> It's all about the cocoa That's butter. the secret of metal, right? You see, all the, they all like, like, Iron Maiden missed out on this, which is why they, they all look like Eddie now. If, uh, if Iggy Pop just bought some cocoa butter, he's, he's actually 27. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he doesn't moisturise. It's like Benjamin Button. That's it. Oh, God. Awesome. So, moisturise aside. Yeah. It's my man. It's my man, Jamie. Half a coward. How are you doing, big man? You right? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you excited about today? Yeah, yeah, it should be good. We're on in a couple of hours on the uproar stage. That should be decent. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. It's a shame Chimera not pulled out. Mm. I'm massively bummed about that. Yeah, I want to see fan? Uh, Power Trip live. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> see, what do you think Power Trip? I got look, the... You look like you're about the right age to appreciate Chimera. I am 27. Like, I'm yeah, 27, there therefore. Yeah. Grew up. Yeah. Sixth as well. Yeah. First grey pube yet? Uh, not, not yet, I, I don't know. I, look at the beard, because it's slightly going ginger, but I don't no, know if it's no, going to right. Okay, right. yeah. the hair, I'm bald under here. I've got like a massive monks thing going on. It's all right, it's fine. It's Refined, fine. distinguished. <laughs> distinguished, <laughs> just sh shit jeans. Yeah. Um, so uh, so this, um, what, what is Take Down to you? Have you, have you? have you played it before? Uh, I haven't played it before. Um, come, what, the year before last? Whenever it was, I think it was Buried Tomorrow and Sleep's played, and uh, I think it was the year before last. Um, yeah, same setup. It's pretty cool. Like massively rammed. There's like a nice mix of people here as well. It's not all just kind of like a big scene fest or like you know. It's not just one type of person. It's yeah. It's quite a few. And there's also there's also there's like a brotherhood type thing here with like you and the band, like the bands. It's it's great to see because you guys like all meet up. And although it's yeah. a festival for like the fans and all that sort of stuff, you guys like just UK scene's quite in incestuous in that respect though. Like a lot a lot of bands kind of. You have a lot of bands leaving to either join or form other bands that end up playing the same circuits and the same yeah. gigs, and we all just kind of end up hanging out and change shit. And it's like it's like having a, like a super band, but on a, on a small level, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like, guess. Yeah. Well, who knows where it will head? Maybe you would like maybe see like Sax Moon Two. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Be awesome. Who would you? Who would you? Oh, actually, that's a great question. Who would you want to collaborate with? Oh. Um, would you mix some boots? Mix and match it up. Yeah, I would. It depends on the style of band, I guess, because okay. like you have people with different strengths, don't you? So. Yeah. Like, you might want a really fast drummer, but you might want a really groovy one. Technical, or, jazzy. If you're going for fast, like death metal blasts or whatever, then that'll probably be Lynn from Ingested, or yeah. um, I'm trying to think who's stupid fast. I can't think of anyone faster than Lynn. Craig Reynolds? Craig's fucking fast, but he, uh, even, he'll, he'll admit, even he'll admit he's not as fast as Lynn. It's, Craig's more like, all rounder, yeah. He's an all rounder, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's brutality. If we're will talking trump cards. <laughs> if, we were, oh. if we had like metal trump cards, like Lynn would be like ten for speed and power, and then he'd be like five for everything else, and then like and then like Reynolds would be like a like a round eight everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that actually has to be done. I think yeah. I think that that's where the trumps. market fits. Metal top trumps. You right. heard it here first. Heard it, yeah, right now. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll go, I'll go 50-50. All right, yeah. 40-60. Okay, cool. I've already said 50-50. I am not a good salesman. 70-30. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, what, so you, you've got the whole band set. What is the highlight of your day, except for obviously playing in front of all your fans and all the awesome people? You mean apart from this interview? <laughs> you charmer. Um, it's cocoa butter. Yeah, that's it, it's cocoa butter, man. <laughs> it's going to your head. Yeah, yeah. And green tea. It's up the soul. Yeah, this is for the voice, man. It's just, it's great. Um, highlight of today: uh, Zokes are yeah. amazing. Heart in hand. Who are on? Zokes, relatively new band. We had a chat with them early on. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Um, funeral for a friend later. Faf. Um, yeah, Faf. Bit of Faf. We love the Faf. Um, yeah, activist. Um, Glamour of the Kill. Dirty Youth. There's quite a few good bands playing. So. In, in, so imagine doing right. So you're going to be doing this next year. Obviously, headlining one of the main stage, one of the stages. Yeah, it's guaranteed. If no. they ask us to come back, yeah, maybe we'll see. Well, you should inform them that you will. Depends how many brown M and M's and white orchids I get in my dressing room. 
I've been wanting to say that for so long. <laughs> White orchids as well. I'm trying to think of like the, the worst things that people have asked for in their writers, and that was one of them. He said he wanted white orchids. <laughs> like what? No, not even white orchids. Like petals from a white orchid flower with brown M and M's. What? Like using them as like a, like yeah, a little just bed? Like, just basically things that you just can't find at short notice. It's like an excuse to cancel a show. Like if you don't give us our rider, we're going to cancel. So you go like, yeah, I want like the moss from. <laughs> from the Himalayas distilled I into want, a tea. I want the moss from a retired gentleman yeah. in, his, uh, in his early 40s. I want the Sean pubes of like an old kung fu master ground into my, my pizza from around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do that, then I'm not playing.